She's got a tough guy. She's a terrible cook. I'm kidding. Hey, good morning, Reaper team. It's beautiful out. It's uh, August 31st. I got the whole gamut here. We got tons of rods, tons of gear. We got the little boat loaded up, and the plan is going to be some inshore trolling. So, 15 to 17, 18 miles. Uh, really, the goal is, is king and Spanish mackerel, and hopefully a true bonito for some sashimi. And then uh, from there, I might uh, try fluking. We were out fluking yesterday. It was terrible. Uh, but we're one more day removed from a little blow that we had, so hopefully they'll turn back on. I don't know. Real cool, you can see right behind me, I'm right outside the inlet. Uh, came out front, there's a couple birds lurking. Literally not even a mile off the beach. Uh, I pulled one little bluefish in the boat, I didn't have the GoPro on. I had it on my head, but it didn't run, I don't know. Nothing big, little little guy, but perfect um, fluke bait. We harvested him, looks like they're making up again. So maybe we'll make one or two more casts here. And then uh, we'll get to our destination a little further offshore. Now there have been Spanish mackerel in close, but out there you get a little bit better shot in a mixed bag, so. All right, guys, so uh, a wet ride out is always on this boat. No matter what, you get soaked. Um, it's not too bad out here, knock on wood. The water clarity is actually decent. It's, uh, it's kind of just like a grayish, you know, for out here, that's, that's really about as good as you're going to get. Um, we just don't want ugly green, pea soup green. That's no good. So, all right, so rod one. All right, so Clark spoon. Now you can fish these with, see the drill there? To fish these with a planer. I like the drill, I think it's easier. So I got a little little daisy chain I made up last year. Just in case there's any mahi around or something like that. I hate the clicker on this Avet. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so third rod, we'll do another another again. It's just a, a number three Clark spoon. That's a number four over there. Six to eight ounce drill. Try and keep it right around five to seven miles an hour, really. Should be good for this boat. All right, so I snuck one more out, so I got four. So two Clark spoons, swimming plug, and then the daisy chain out the middle here. All right, guys, so it's been about, I don't know, 45 minutes of trolling. Uh, nothing. It's uh, looks really dead. I haven't marked a single scratch of bait. I haven't seen a single thing of life. Uh, getting up to the first lump now, so things we'll be looking up for us here but well team really sad uh yeah i mean it's a desert out here i haven't marked anything not a single scratch of bait i haven't seen a single iota of life um it's a shame this used to be really productive you could come out here in the morning and put together a fun little catch mixed bag you know king spanish mahi um you know benito and uh occasionally mahi um and falsies too That kind of sucks. We actually had a hit on the uh, on this one. We had a hit on this one. I didn't even hear it. I just heard this thing fold down and that uh, daisy chain's gone. So we got broke off, mid off probably. Might have been a wahoo or a king. I don't know. Look at that. Fit clean off. Wow. All right, team, on the fluke fishing. That was an epic failure on the troll. So uh, we're in 80 foot of water. First wreck, small wreck. Uh, I've only caught sea bass on it. So let's see. Start off with. I think this is a four ounce tip it with fresh blue fish we just caught. All right, start with that on the bottom. Now we're going to go with a peanut bunker on the top. Pretty right, sure it's just sea bass down there. The desired species. Mm. Too many sea bass. It's just the too many. That felt like a fluke. Like fluke. Oh yeah. Negative. Too many sea bass here, guys. Too many sea bass. That's fluke. That's a fluke, guys. That's a fluke. It's a nice fluke. 
They've been my first keeper on this new rod too. Definitely a fluke. Stay tight, baby. Come on, stay tight. Yeah, nice one. It's keeper. <clears throat> At least close. Oh yeah, it's keeper. Oh shizzle my dizzle. Okay, that's one guys. There we go. About darn time. All right. Yeah. This new rod is awesome, guys. It's so funny. It's so distinct when you get a, a fluke bite you as opposed to a, uh, it's probably 19 inches. Yes. All right, guys. Awesome. Let's do that again. I knew that was a fluke right away. Such a different bite. That means they're here. It's awesome. We got a pattern. Means they're here. That's another fluke. That one's gonna be short, I think, but it's okay, guys. We got a pattern. Finally, we got a stinking pattern. Fighter. A little fighter guy. It's actually not that small. It's probably like 17. Icy bass. That one's coming home for dinner. Woohoo! Look at you. You're awful pretty, huh? Nice sea bass, guys. Nice black sea bass. Pretty one. Like that. Just look down there. He's good. Alright, little guy. Digging the bluefish, boy. sea bass another nice sea bass holy cow yeah that's another fluke just can't seem to get them keepers huh that. a lot of fish down there but I don't know why they're so small this little dude come on oh Got some gulp, do you? Another fluke, guys, but another small one, huh? Interesting. I don't know why they got small of them. Oh, nicey robin. It's gonna be good bait. Oh, yeah. Absolutely walloped it guys. It is totally down there. Alright, good. Alright guys, it's two. Bingo. Very simple rig. That's well, all messed up now, but yeah, totally simple rig. Just um dropper loop and a piece of meat. That's it. <laughs> now, guys, this is my new rod from Tackle Direct. So it's a, a Shimano Tranks and it's a, an OTI uh, jigging rod. So I'll show you that setup uh, once we get back to the house later. I get out of this heat. So I got to this rack and I was really, I'd lost two rigs right away jigging with, uh, you know, three to three ounce bucktails. Um, so what I did, I said, screw it. And I just put that, that rounded swivel on there. I think it's called a dipsy, I guess. Um, and I said, you know what, let's just let the meat do its thing. And sure enough, bam. Despite the fact that there's no wind, there's actually, oh yeah, baby. That's another fluke. They're here, guys. This one doesn't feel half bad either. This may be our limit here, team. Oh, 
Oh, I think he got me in the wreck. Oh, he got me in the wreck. I got him up. I got him up, I think. I got him up. Okay. Wow, he actually got me in the wreck. I've never had a fluke do that. This should be number three right here, I'm pretty sure. Unless I got him fouled. I've been feeling that a lot lately for some reason. Uh, just got him hooked weird. Now, look at this, guys. Oh, I had... That's what happened. Look, I had a flounder, and then I had... I had somebody's line. <laughs> we'll get that out of here. All right, let's get the fluke out of the equation. Get this out of the way, huh? I mean, who comes out here this day and age and uses this, this probably like 40 pound line? Like, what are you doing? Of course you're gonna get snagged, you knucklehead. I don't know if you guys can see, I got a little friend there. Okay? That's Bill. Bill's pretty cool. There you go. Oh boy. Oh yeah, he's super pumped. Oh, he's just a little baby. Oh, he got it down. He got it down. So now he's gonna wipe his beak. Go wipe his beak. There we go, baby. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. That felt like number three, guys. Ah. All right, guys, pretty cool. It's uh, it's just too nice an ocean to go home. Like 2.30 in the afternoon, and uh, it's just too nice. I just I don't want to go back in. Um, fluking was just so slow, and uh, I don't have any more strip baits. That's really all they wanted today was meat, um, and I just don't have any more. So I said, you know what? Let's troll home. It'll be fun. All right, so really neat. Yeah, so spinner sharks right up ahead. You'll most see them in Florida. Zach and I saw them here last year too. I got a silly thing on my head, sorry. Um, it's really cool. So we actually found some bait and some life. I just saw some uh, porpoise too. So it looks kind of fishy here. I don't know, we're way in shore. I don't know. There he goes, look at him. Woo! Nice. Probably some life in, in close, but uh, still no pulls, guys. Just uh, not my day on the inshore troll, you know. Hey, he's on there. All right, guys, we got some action here. Hey, fella, you're a little bigger, aren't you, huh? Oh man, they're digging this one, guys. They're digging this one. This is the one I'm looking for. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a Spanish mackerel. I just saw one jump. All right. Good lesson, don't overrun the fish. I mean, they're just little blue fish, but there's definitely a, turn this off. There's definitely some life here. I mean, God, that's like four or five hits now. And I've seen Spanish mackerel jump out of the water, so we just gotta get them now to commit. Um, it's nice and overcast, so it should bite, let's see. Woohoo! Little guy. Oh! Double, doubled up, baby. <laughs> Where's the Spanish mackerel? They're everywhere. You guys are everywhere, aren't you? Come over this one spot you guys hit. Come on, let's get you. All right, let's get you. Okay. I give you, I give you. Got bit right there. Oh, that's cool. I oh, that pot of bait. Got bit right there. my Spanish. It's my Spanish. Get in the boot. Get in the boot. It's my Spanish mackerel. Get in the boot. Yeah. All right, baby. Woo. -hoo. Yeah. Southern speedster. Yes. Look how pretty, guys. So that's a little Spanish mackerel. Oh. 
All right. Come here. Bleach out. Let's go. Yeah. So guys, the fish don't have to be 50 to 100 pounds to have a good time. This is a blast. All right, team, we got birds working up ahead. So let's see what we got here. Whoa, what is that in the water right there? Second Spanish mackerel here, guys. I think so. He's shaking his head more. Come on, stay on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee, man. Come on, get a boot. Get a boot. Yeah. <laughs> What'd I say? I can feel the difference in the head shake. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Guys, look how pretty they are. They are just so pretty. This is one. I knew it right away. I could tell by the head shakes. Super pump. Uh, I think tonight what I'm gonna do I'm gonna eat the uh, Spanish mackerel and sea bass Spanish mackerel sea bass and a little bit of flounder so I'm gonna work on the marinade for the bluefish and I'm gonna smoke them tomorrow so I've been meaning to fix my smoker so we'll fix the smoker and smoke some bluefish it's a super pump baby yeah yeah we'll do that and then tomorrow night I'll make Alana some uh, fancy flounder. I'll show you guys that too. She's got it tough, man, you know? But guys, I've been I've been on the water since 6.15 this morning. And it's now 6.15 at night, 6.17. This is so fun, I love it. So fun being out here by myself. Uh, I honestly think, guys, we, we might be getting a bigger little boat. Uh, the Atlantic City Boat Show is September 9th. Yeah, September 9th, so. If you guys see me there say hello you know i'd be super pumped to i, I love meeting all you guys um so many people have come up said hello and i can't thank you guys enough for watching yeah so if you see me say hello the uh the old girl did good today did real good Made a mess up. All right, Reaper team, so welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight it's gonna be fresh fluke and fresh sea bass that we caught yesterday. Um, super pumped, so guys, today it's gonna be a very simple recipe. We don't wanna overpower the, the fluke and the sea bass. So really the main ingredients are really just gonna be fresh onion, a nice fresh New Jersey tomato, and uh, some fresh parsley, and then we're really just gonna use a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic powder. Um, and we're just gonna bake it in the oven probably at uh, 350, 375, probably about 15, 20 minutes, that's about it. So let's get cutting and we'll clean the fillets and we'll get to cooking. Now guys, there's something about putting these tomatoes and onions on top of the uh, fish. Um, it just provides it like a little bit of like, almost like a sweet taste and a little bit of savory with that onion. And then they, they grill up real nice too. So I just kind of cut them up and they're just little, you know, little medallions. And you'll see, I just kind of put it right on top of the fish. It adds a neat little, neat little, curveball to it all so it's really important to have nice fresh ingredients here guys so um, if you can get fresh parsley that's uh that's key all right get some parsley and then onion Ugh. start crying here in a minute okay all right guys so uh just got to um uh, just finish you know cutting out the bones of these uh fish i was just in a rush yesterday um, and then what we'll do is uh, get them nice and rinsed off get them in this baking dish here look at those nice fluke fillets Woohoo! super pumped all right guys so again fluke and sea bass right in our little baking dish um, and we want this to be nice and healthy so no butter none of that stuff it's just going to drizzle a little olive oil over it salt pepper garlic powder put the ingredients on boom throw in the oven All right, so just a little bit of EVOO, just so that it doesn't dry out too, too much. You know, we want to keep it somewhat moist there. But uh, also having the tomato and the onion right on top of that helps as well. Just a little bit of salt. Obviously a little pepper. 
Okay. A little garlic powder. So what we're gonna do is go with the parsley right on top there. Okay, then we're gonna put some onions right on top. And then you put your tomatoes right on top of that. Boom, boom. Now tell me that doesn't look pretty. It already has good smell vision factor here. That looks delicious. Nice and healthy. Everything will get happy here once we put it in the oven. Super pumped. All right, guys, we preheated to about 375, 385. Let's put this fish in there. So uh, all done. I baked it for just a couple minutes. Get everything nice and, you know, happy there up top. All right. Super pumped. So now what we'll do is we'll have my uh, taste tester check it out and uh, give me a report. Let's go. Hi world. Yeah, I got my special taste tester, so we'll see. I don't know. It's questionable. She's got it tough, guys. She's a terrible cook. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, Alana's chosen a red. Uh, if I drink wine during uh, seafood, I like white. Yeah, but this was open. This is a nice Pinot Noir. Tramine, Cantina Tramine. Oh, excuse me, all nice right. And smooth. Yep. So let's see, show me the dish. Let's see how that came out. Looks good. Looks real good. Oh yeah, it looks delicious. Nice and fresh and healthy and... Smell vision. Yeah. All right. I need a fork. Side so broccoli cauliflower. Ready for my taste testing abilities? Yeah. I might burn my mouth. Hey, stop eating that over there. Put right. it on a dish. Sorry. The Italian thing. Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Super? Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. She's going to get some. Do you like it with the onions and the tomato on there? Yeah. It's good, right? I definitely like with the tomato because it just yeah. adds, yeah, some extra. Yeah, it just gives it like a little extra. Bam. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Ooh, smells good. Mm -hmm. Get out of my sandwich. Right. Now. <laughs> Ooh, fresh parsley. Oh yeah. Like it? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it with like a piece of fish and then an onion. That's okay. delicious. I'm gonna put my hair back for this. Mm -hmm. Guys, I forget how much I love fluke. I don't fluke fish that often, but uh, it's so good. It's just delicious. Next, you're gonna have your own cooking show. Somehow I don't think so. No? No, I don't think we're anywhere near that. I would settle for my own fishing shop. I know that. Get myself back to shape. See me up on the big screen. All right, team. So as always, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell down on the right so you get notifications on future videos. Uh, hopefully, we'll get the boat fixed again. By the way, it's broke again. And uh, see you guys again? again. Again, again. Yeah, again, again. So I'll see you guys at the boat show. I might sell it. I don't know. We'll see. Adios.